Hello, this is George Sendo, the real, authentic, original, official, one and only the guy from Pittsburgh of Sep, no cheesy YouTube commentators, imposters, trolls, or copyright violators. And the nightmare continues, not only figuratively, but literally, as Kathy and I still deal with the Treasury Department, Social Security, and Bank of America. Now, I had two nightmares this week. I normally don't have nightmares. I have dreams I don't usually remember. But the one on Sunday, I woke up pretty scared. Somebody or something had dug a hole in the ceiling above me and was reaching in my apartment and stealing anything that was valuable. My computer, my television, books, my videos, money. I could not see what it was. All I saw was this arm come down and extend like Mr. Fantastic or Dr. Octopus, and I woke up screaming. Ah, uh, my sinus had been acting up, so I did not get much sleep last night. <coughs> Excuse me. So I went to bed at about 7.30 because I had to treat my nose, and I passed out pretty exhausted. I keep waking up about 2 or 3 or 4 in the morning. I stay up till 7, then I can't get to sleep because my nose is dripping. 10.30, I have this another nightmare. I dreamt that I was supposed to go to court and didn't show up. They issued a bench warrant. And I was involved with people at my at a computer laboratory at a college. And they all knew me. And I called up. And the girl there, whom I rather like, goes, It's the George. <laughs> and what's going on? I said, Well, I have to... Um, I have to deal with this banking crisis that's going on. And she said, you know, the, the police showed up here and other guys showed up. And they said, what do you mean other guys? She said, they're all dressed in black. They drive black cars and wear black hats. So I went, okay. Yeah, and I said, well, somebody of that description to a pair have been following me everywhere. And I'm, I'm trying to shake them so I don't dare go in the court between the police and uh, the men in black. Now, I have no idea why I was supposed to go into court because I got awakened from all this. And all my friends, male and female, were at the computer lab. And then Kathy called and woke me up, and then I promptly felt like absolute. It took me three hours to sleep this morning. I could not get to sleep. She woke me up, and my eyes were hurting. My head was hurting. I woke up with my back hurting. And she tells me that Social Security sent her a letter, or Bank of America, sorry, sent her a letter. Uh, the money deposited in your account was deposited in the area. We have removed it, taken it out, whatever wordage it was. On the 10th, the 93172, and $352 has been removed plus change of your account as well. We apologize for the inconvenience. And I went, Inconvenience? What the hell is this crap inconvenience? It's like the banks give you this crap how you're, they say you're frustrated. When I call up the bank and I'm mad, I'm mad. I'm not frustrated. Frustrating. I never used this word until I had to deal with the, all these customer service agents who get trained to, we're sorry you're frustrated, Mr. Senda. Frustrated you can't open the pickle jar, you miss the bus for a minute, that's frustrating. But when you call up and you've been dealing with the bank for days or weeks or hours, you're not frustrated, you're upset and angry and you want to stop to it. Now, I called Capital One today. I spent 40 minutes on the phone with Capital One Bank. They have the worst system to recognize who you are I've ever seen. You have to upload everything upline, online, and none of that will work. No matter what computer I use, what phone I use, it won't recognize my, my free Medicare phone. It won't recognize my California ID. It wants me to give it my phone number, but it doesn't recognize the phone number because I don't pay for the phone. Uh, they cannot call me, call me up because they're not allowed to unless I input the phone number into their computer which it won't let me do because it doesn't recognize it's a real phone. Although how real this Android piece of crap is, I don't know. Um, and then last night I sent uh, text messages to CR and Abram, 
and tried to send photos to Auden, and he said they go into Google, whatever the hell it is, Google Storage. He couldn't get them on his phone. He tried to send me a picture, and he, they wouldn't throw, show up here. And then I, Capital One Bank told me the statement I wanted for housing that I ordered the four days before Labor Day. They never sent it because of technical issues with their phone lines, whatever that means. So now I ordered another one. That'll take three to five days. I did get Capital One credit to remove the late fee. I got a very nice lady on the phone and told her that I had been running between Capital One Bank, Bank of America, Walnut Creek, Bank of America, uh, Virginia Hill, Bank of America, Sun Valley, Social Security, back and forth with Kathy, without Kathy, since August. And I'm physically and mentally exhausted. So is Kathy. So they removed the late fee. I'm never late with a credit card payment, but... I didn't know what day it is when I made the payment. I made two separate payments. I was so tired, I separated them. And they took the $35 late fee off. And they said, you've been doing an excellent job paying your bill. Keep doing it. So she took it off. So nowhere with Capital One. Got the ally statement. That's been mailed out to housing. But we are now going to Bank of America. And I will do a video with Kathy Friday. We'll stop at the Domino's. We'll do a video outside of they don't have music. And she'll talk about this mess. Uh, I got this letter saying somewhere. I had a few minutes ago. Whoop, that's not it. I gotta clean this place up. Well, I could it's a mess in here. Um I don't know what happened now. It was here earlier. Hmm. Anyway, I got a letter from Social Security. You'll get your normal check in the first. You switch banks, yada yada yada. Kathy has not gotten that letter, and we're very concerned that um, uh, she won't get her check on the first of the month. And I may have to lend her the rent, which will be a switch. So uh, so that's what's been going on. It's been, been, been nuts. And tomorrow, tomorrow I send an email off to my congressman who acted on my behalf with the Treasury Department. And it finally was admitted the Treasury took the 300 and $52 out of her bank account when they shouldn't have because that was her money from her dis disability check and um, they just took it. I got my money. They didn't go after me and took money out of my account. There's nothing in it. <laughs> There's seven bucks in my Bank of America account. So this is insane. And the other thing is that uh, I did get a letter raising my food stamp benefits to $51 a month. And as I said in the earlier video, Fuzzy killed the giant fan by the door. It tipped over for the last time. It no longer turns on. I don't know what she did to it. She's not there before. She likes to climb up in the fan to get to the window. And it fell on the bed, and it's dead. So now I'm going to roast in here. All right. Black helicopters, bank problems, mystery money going somewhere, money that Treasury Department is not in any great hurry to return to Kathleen. And uh, the evil Patty bitching is she didn't get enough gas money. I wasted a whole half a tank driving you around and they're coming to get you. And Kathy and I both said, well, if you didn't want to pick us up, why did you offer? I would never do that to Kathleen unless I were really broke and really short of gasoline to ask her for money. It takes 60 bucks to fill Ratty's van. And Ratty has a broken down plastic bookcase in the back. She did a thing where she made a left turn out of the right lane and did this. And Kathy went flying. The miracle Kathy wasn't hurt. And I don't know why she's running around with a plastic six shelf bookcase that's disassembled where you can barely put it in the back of the van. And Kathy could have gotten seriously injured. I wasn't very happy about that. It scared the hell out of me. So this is Patty. Uh, you don't do that to people. If you offer to pick someone up, you don't charge them for gas. You don't beg them for gas money. And when Kathy said all she needed from the bank was $100, oh, here it is. I found it. Um, your current check is nine thirty one seventy two for October. You continue to get this each month. You'll receive your payment on or around October 1st and the first three months after that. So I will get my check, but I'm worried that Kathy won't get hers. But I would never ask. Cat Patty said 150 when 
Kathy said 100. I'm going, why the hell are you asking for 150? And that's so Patty could get gas money. She wanted 40 bucks. Kathy gave her 20. And uh, so I have found a few things I want on eBay. And I found one thing that's really cheap. I'm not going to say what it is. I don't want someone else to buy it out from under me. But uh, I'm really excited about it. It's relatively inexpensive. And um, I have found one other thing. I'm not going to mention what that is either, but it's video related. So I'm hoping to get that on the first of the month. And uh, we will see what happens. All right. Anyway, I just, this has been hurting a lot across my eyes. And. I was just so sore Saturday and this morning that I could barely move. So this way I'm going to do videos. And then I have the problem. I, I can't type a title and with no keyboard. The keyboard <clears throat> has not shown up yet. So um, I'm waiting. It's supposed to get here on the 19th, which would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we will see. And... Uh, and I'm going to enclose the keyboard in saran wrap so no water gets onto it, coffee and all that. I'm going to wrap it up in saran wrap and then keep it away from the, I don't know why this, this must have gotten wet. I don't know why this died. It just, uh, it doesn't even activate anymore. It doesn't even, even not even the, um, the uh, numbers lock turns on. It's just dead. I can get another one of these, but just, and then. Next month, I'm going to order another keyboard, so I have a backup keyboard, because you should always have a backup plan. All right, sorry this is so so long, but uh, I haven't had any energy. We've been both walking all over here, and we get to do it again Friday, but at least we only get to walk about uh, two and a half long blocks to go to the bank and back, and then the bus is right there, and we can go home. All right, this is George Senda, the Guy from Pittsburgh, uh, have a great night. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as a case may be, and stay safe and stay cool. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.